Here are the steps you take to prepare your file. First, you'll start in File, Manage, Security. Specifically under Advanced Settings, if you go to Extended Privileges, you'll see that we've got an extended privilege called FM URL Script. So what I'm going to do is enable it for the full access privilege set because in my demonstration that's the one that I'm going to be logging in against with my admin account. And the reason that we're turning on FM URL Script Extended Privilege is because what's actually happening is Siri Shortcuts is communicating with other apps on the device through URL schemes. So it's uh, a interesting thing that's happening here. So technically when we're running a script from Siri Shortcuts, we're actually telling it to run the script through an FMP URL. So we need to make sure that that's turned on. And then finally, we go into scripts, and we want to take a look at the scripts that we want to run from our Siri Shortcuts. And I have two of them here, Start New Walk Siri and End Current Walk. I'd like to point something out here in the script. You'll notice that I'm setting a variable at the top of the script that's uh, using a get script parameter. So that insinuates that Siri is able to pass a parameter, and I'll show you how that works in a second. And I'm going to have Siri pass an array of two values. The first value, or get value number one, is going to be the name of the dog walker that's received from Siri. And then the second value in the array, get value parameter two, is the dog that's being walked. So these are, and then this is the end current walk, and what I want to do now is donate these scripts to Siri, and it's a very simple thing. You select whatever script you want, or just the one you want, to want, you want to enable, and then you look in the contextual menu, you see down here we have a new option called Enable Shortcuts Donation. And now when I turn that on, you see I've got the two Siri icons there, and now I can move this file over to my device. Now at this point, I've moved my file onto my device. You see it here inside the FileMaker Go app. And what I need to do is open it at least once. So I open it up, I, th I authenticate, and this makes these scripts available to Siri Shortcuts. So I just need to open it the one time. And now I'm going to go into Siri Shortcuts. I'm going to show you my first shortcut, the Start My Dog Walk. So what I've done here, uh, before I even get down to running the FileMaker script, is you see that I'm using the scripting step, asking a question of the user, who's walking the dog, and then what I do is I create a variable called walker where I store the input from that first question. I do the same thing again, which dog is being walked, and then I store the answer to that question in a different variable called dog. Then I use the list function in shortcut and create an array, and the first value in the array is the variable that I grab from the walker input, and then the second uh, value in the array is the value that I grab from the dog. Now I'm ready to go down to the FileMaker Go script. I pick the file. And <clears throat> I see a list of scripts that I've uh, donated. In this case, I'm going to use the Start New Walk. And I'm passing a parameter over, which is this great feature, allowing me to pass that array over so that it can be parsed out on the FileMaker side. So let's try this one out. Hey Siri. Start my dog walk. Shortcut says, who is walking the dog? Surely. Shortcut says, which dog is being walked? Libby. And so it goes to the FileMaker Go app and it has run the script. So the script is currently tracking uh, the steps and using some of the get sensor functions to uh, determine the distance of the dog walk. So if I go back to Siri shortcuts, you'll see that I have another shortcut here called end my dog walk. In this case, what I'm doing, uh, because it's difficult to remember to turn this off when you get home, is I'm saying when you, when you find me at my current location, which when I set this up was my home, um, it is going to then run the script to end it. So here I go to the same file. And in this case, I'm running the other donated script called end current walk, which is simply ends the gathering of information and stores the data. Let's try that out since the script is actually still running. Hey Siri, end my dog walk. I'm on it. Hmm. And there we go. Now, of course, since this is triggered 
by my location. I wouldn't actually have to tell Siri to run it, but um, I just wanted to demonstrate this to you. So end walk, I say yes, does the congratulation, and now you see that we've added another walk to the list.